It's Tabletop Time. Time! I'm Dave. I'm Murray. And I'm Jen. And today we have probably the biggest project we have ever undertaken. We're super excited to share it with you. We are actually going to ARC 40K, Australia's biggest tournament, and a huge sponsor of that tournament, House of War, the premier wargaming location in all of Victoria, Australia, have asked us to create the top table for the tournament, which will not only be used for the showcase games at the ARC 40K tournament, and will go on to live at House of War forever. We can let such an awesome table and opportunity be something small and simple. So we are capturing a huge moment in Warhammer's history in a full wargaming sized tournament ready gaming board. That's right, we're building a Titan graveyard. Oh my god! Ah. This is what comes in the box, isn't it? I get my own arm guards. Yes, thank you. Yes. So the work can begin. We actually have one Warlord and one Reaver that's arrived so far. We've got two Reavers still coming in all of their weapons. We have so much resin to clean and trim. Jen and Murray are basically becoming, well, workhorses all day and I'm going to join them. So uh, let's tackle this monstrous pile of Forge World. Hey Jen, how are you enjoying scrubbing everything? It's a lot to clean um, and these pieces are really huge, but look, it's kind of nice because I get to like wash my hands at the same time and they smell really good. And you're not getting like soggy hand syndrome? I'm taking breaks in between because of that reason. So I will wash a bunch of stuff and then I'll stop and go to back to cutting out because um, David has told me a couple horror stories of like people's skin peeling off. Yeah, I used to work with kitchen hands and their, their entire hand skin could just like come off. Yeah, I don't really want that to happen. Yeah. <laughs> this clip is big enough. Oh, not really. Time to get a saw. It's much nicer when you can just watch other people do it on YouTube. It sucks when it's you. Murray, Jen, ah! I have found a relic over which many fight. Oh. Ah. <laughs> These bits of paper, I don't know, anyone who's out there and sees like the second hand market, these bits, these A4 card certificates that say you own a Titan, they have a number on them. These are used by people to signify that their Titan is legitimate and a lot of people care about them. So sort of what I'm saying is if you have a recast Titan and want to sell it, hit me up. I'll sell you the certificate for like a hundred bucks. It'll really add value to your work. <laughs> All right, so what is the world that we are building? Horus Heresy Book 8 Mechanicum is an all-time favorite of mine. It's a fantastic book that explores the schism of Mars where the Adeptus Mechanicum went against each other. They actually had a huge civil war. And central to this conflict is the battle between Legio Mortis and Legio Tempestus. That battle accumulates in a massive fight with multiple engine kills and some pretty memorable destruction on either side. So the pitch for this battlefield. We would like to make for the top table a battlefield on Mars that is set in the 40K universe, 10,000 years after the fall of these great titans. Melted into the ground by the larval flows of the magma city, these titan corpses loom out of the Martian sands, all of them intermingled together in a haunting titan graveyard. The ground is going to be scarred by the ancient explosions and destructive weapons unleashed by the Titan. If you're a fan of the Mechanicum book, please give your suggestions down below. We're gonna be making this board to the best of our abilities. This should be our best build ever. This collection of boxes next to me is literally just the beginning. We have a Warlord Titan, three Reaver Titans, and their assembled weapons to throw around this board, destroy, integrate, and make the most impressive build we possibly can. And if you're waiting for us to play a game on it, you don't have to, because in fact, if you live in Australia or travel for tournaments like R40K, you can play on it. As we craft each part of the build, I'm definitely going to be focusing on elements centric to the build. And I'm gonna be exploring the fun aspects of its lore while we build its memorial. 
So Murray, we've made a few of these boards and we've done a few various different types of them. The cathedral actually didn't get a schnazzy trim on it. It's just raw foam. I don't think we can do that for a board that's gonna have to stand up to a lot of tournament play. I'm thinking a trim, a nice square trim that will protect the foam and go around the outside of the board like we did with the Age of Sigma board. Yeah, this is just a neat piece of MDF. Make it nice and uniform, make them all match up nicely as they're up arrayed. There's gonna be three pieces because each piece is gonna be really heavy with titans on it. So we're gonna need that. All right, so Murray, you're off to Bunnings Warehouse. Sure am. Lowest prices. Are, no, we're not sponsored. I'm back with the power of editing. We're going to cut the trim for our boards. So I've pre-measured these sheets. I'm gonna cut them out, do the lengths, and then we'll do the widths, and then trim it up real nice at the corners so it looks very professional. Murray? 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 I don't know what are you talking about? Did you just, uh, 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 what is this? <laughs> Murray! <laughs> Nothing. Nothing happened. <laughs> Murray, I don't know what you're talking you about. You absolute goose. I that's thought you were okay. spotting me. Oh, that's on camera now. <laughs> Murray, what are you doing? I'm just I'm just fixing the table. There's a boo-boo. There is a boo-boo. Fix the boo-boo. We also have another huge announcement. We're going to be at Arc 40K. We mentioned at the start of this video that this board would be the premier table. We're going to be bringing it there and also hanging out all weekend. Yep, we'll be there. This table will be there. It'll be a great time. Now I need a set change before I can tell you all about Arc 40K. So this video series is only possible because of Arc 40K, Australia's premier wargaming tournament. ARC 40K is a 1350-point Warhammer 40K tournament. Now, the 40K tournament half of the event has sold out, but general admission tickets are available now if you'd like to come along, meet the guests, and see all the amazing 40K goodies in action. And alongside it is the amazing ARC Open, Melbourne's first big sci-fi miniatures painting competition. If you haven't heard already, special guests Emil and Lucas from Squidmar will be on hand, and they will be judging that painting competition. But not only that, ARC 40K has special guests Victoria Lamb, head of Victoria Minis, and an amazing longtime sculptor and Golden Demon winner. The event will be live streamed by Legends and Lore. Of course, our Titan Graveyard Battlefield will be the top table on display, and you'll also be able to meet all of us there if you're going. There's more info over at arc40k.com and I'd really encourage you to go check it out. Maybe join the painting competition, come on down if you can and support the building of Australia's biggest wargaming tournament. Links are in the description if you wanna check out Arc, but we'll be talking about Arc over the course of this entire project. For now, let's get back to the absolute bedlam that is building a whole bunch of Titans. There is Forge World Resin absolutely everywhere. It's ridiculous. Murray, hard at work. Yeah. Two seconds. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. Are you enjoying watching me work on gray piece after gray piece? I'm enjoying not having to do it myself. I mean, we've got piles of stuff, but to show how much we've done, this is all of the resin gates from all the pieces that we've done so far. And there's boxes left. I mean, yeah. we, we still haven't got two reavers. That yeah, th up. this is one warlord and most of a reaver. There's still two more reavers. So we're gonna collect those gates for all of them and just see mm. how much spare resin we get left yeah. up with. Yeah, you're gonna, gonna weigh it at the end just to just for fun, see how much, you know, discarded resin there just is, which is ridiculous. See how much Games Workshop is paying for postage. Yeah, this already weighs more than my entire army box carry case, so. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a couple of kilos at least. <laughs> all right, so Murray, you've put these two bits of foam together. The board is ready to go. And as you can all see, this is a regulation tournament sized Warhammer board. Yep, it's pretty standard so far. It's about time we talk about what this board is going to look like. Where are we going to put some stuff? I mean, the Warlord Titan's the biggest thing. Where do you reckon that's going to go? I think originally I was going to say the Warlord Titan should be in the middle. But they're kind of smaller than I thought they'd be. Like, Somehow. <laughs> they're, they're huge, don't get me wrong. But I think the exploded Warlord can be battling the three Reavers. Something I'm really excited about is I remember from the game Dawn of War Winter Assault. We had a mission where you fought around a Titan and the gun would fire periodically. And it was actually one of these six barreled lasers. So I'm thinking somewhere sort of across 
we can have this turbo laser blaster. And we have three Reavers to play with. So I think maybe Reavers. over here, a toppled Reaver. Can I can like, like sort of slumped against like the wall, a wall sort of thing, just like in bits. Oh, that's too cool. And then we have a third Reaver. We can put over there somewhere. Yeah. That, yeah. that one can be collected. Yeah. Oh, third Reaver on oh, the laser beam. We can have the building. <laughs> like we can have it built up in the corner and we can have the third Reaver slumped up against that where it's just been pummeled by the laser destructor. I hope you're getting as excited for this as we are and let's start. <laughs> All right, so we want to pitch this to you in a couple of set pieces that should be really easy to understand. One of the gorgeous central pieces of this board is going to be the legs of the Deus Tempestus, the legendary Warlord Titan and the oldest Titan of Legio Tempestus. Now this was pretty brutally eviscerated and we imagine only its legs remain and the last loyal Titan left standing on Mars during the Schism of Mars, we thought it only fitting that the Mechanicus has built an awesome shrine around the legs to revere this fallen ancient god machine. This shrine will be built into a massive crater created by the shockwave of its reactor detonating. Up next, we want to take a fallen macro Gatling blaster from a Warlord Titan. So we're going to take that and we're going to have it built up into an embankment of old dried lava and the dunes of Mars. I'm going to design it as if it has fire as it's hit the ground, scoring a massive scar into the earth directly out from the barrels of the weapon. I really like how this is going to create a nice little line of sight blocking bit of terrain as well as a trench works for models to move between on the table. A lot of our designs are going to be factoring in both rule of cool but also tabletop balance as a tournament table, so we're going to try and make sure there's ample cover everywhere on the table for everyone equally. Probably the most ambitious set piece we have, as crazy as that is, is actually the Cord Reaver Titan. We don't know how we're going to do this, but we love the idea of melting a hole straight through the core of a Reaver Titan, but having its superstructure still holding firm. There is nothing of value left to salvage on this thing, and the beast is just standing slack and has been for 10,000 years. Picture a lot of rusted panels and desert sand battering up against this Reaver. It's going to be a really tall and dominant figure on the battlefield, and probably the tallest model on the battlefield. So it's going to be really fun to fight around this. Now, as for the second of our Reaver Titans, we're going to have this one toppled bodily into the ground. This is going to be a nice bit of area terrain, as well as some line of sight blocking, as we have a Reaver fully collapsed face down in the dirt limbs splayed, heavy battle damage all over it, and half buried in the sweeping sands of Mars. I think this is going to be a piece to put towards the center of the battlefield, but of our builds, I also think it's probably going to be the simplest. Now for the final Reaver, I'm actually really excited by this idea of Murray's. We're going to build up a corner of the board that has a nice bit of cliff face or maybe a mesa, some rock and stone. And then we have the Reaver Titan, destroyed by multiple shots, but almost as if it has stumbled back and collapsed into the rock. And then 10,000 years of erosion and dirt buildup means it's gonna really feel built into the earth itself. I think this will be another really towering and imposing part of the battlefield and I'm super excited to make it. So these are just five of the obvious terrain features on the board that we're going to build. But we also bought plenty of weapon options as well as we have the top half of the Warlord Titan to use as well. We're thinking of making that into the foe that the Deus Tempestor was fighting. However, at this stage, we'd love to open it up to you commenters. Throw some comments down below for what you would love to see. I know we have a Warlord Titan's Ariok Power Claw, and I reckon it would be super cool to have those fingers splayed and extended, reaching into the sky, while the hand itself is buried in the dust. There are infinite things we can do. We have so many cool parts, and this is going to be, hopefully, one of the coolest boards you've ever seen. So join us for this journey, give us your best ideas, and we'll try to include them in the build. We really hope you are ready to join us on this journey. It's going to be really exciting, but we have so much resin to clean, so much resin to chop, and a whole series of videos to produce. So before we can get started on any of these sweet dioramas and set pieces for this board, we got to keep working on some resin. It never ends. There's so much resin. Oh my God. Oh, a Reaver missile launcher. It's also like Christmas. I've always loved these things, but the Chaos one's like a hundred times cooler. It's got like spiky missiles and stuff. Hey, something that is cool about this is the missile's a little independent 
nubs. So you can choose to have it like fully loaded or like you fired some of them or something. I don't know. That's neat. This kind of journey would simply not be possible without our beloved patrons. Thank you so much for all your support. You really do let this channel exist. There is no way we could put in all the time and effort into a massive build spanning all of these videos without you. If you're interested in joining up to our Patreon, the links are in the description. We have a monthly mini review as well as an exclusive Discord where you can hang out, chat, and talk to our amazing community as well as the cast of Tabletop Time. We love to see all your creations and we love meeting new people. So please consider coming down and joining our Patreon. We will be completely open and discussing this project on our Patreon. So any of our existing patrons, if you have questions, throw them in the chat. We would love to talk about this. We want to get really excited about this project and build it and use your ideas. And uh, yeah, you can tell I'm just prattling because I'm so damn excited about this project. It's going to be an awesome build. It's going to be the biggest month of Tabletop Times history. Let's do it. All right. So you can see we've mostly got pieces on a table right now, but it is going to become something massive. I hope you're all as excited as we are to realize my favorite Titan battle from all of 40k and 30k's history from the book Mechanicum realized on the tabletop. This is going to be a huge and exciting series of videos and we aren't going to be breaking them up. We'll be doing the occasional video in between but by and large we're going to have about a month of Titans straight from here on out. I think there's one or two videos that will be coming in between to start with, but uh, yeah, subscribe and like, and you'll be seeing this Titan board evolve because uh, arcs like the first weekend of March. It's not far away. <laughs> this has to be done by then. So rest assured, you're gonna be seeing the board. Uh, I'm, I'm just super excited. <laughs> it's gonna be a marathon of Titanic proportions. I love it. Now we can end the video. Yeah, Thank thanks, you for that. Oh, beautiful. Bye. I got you. I got you.